thoughts on every year. It's, you know, it seems to be <laughs> you put these groups together and then you got to go out and try to win almost immediately. How, how tough is that? It's a, it's been a, a good, uh, it's an interesting experience for me so far. You know, new to the organization, just learning some of these guys' names. And here we are in extended spring and we had a good spring. Uh, played well most of the way, and the, for the most part, the guys that are starting with us, we've had already, so we know what they're they're all about to some extent until the lights come on. You put fans in the stands. It could be we'll see what happens there, but it'd be interesting. They've showed some excitement, some power, some speed, some defense. We've had some pitching. You know, we'll just have to see what shows up, but it is. It's tough putting new groups together and getting that chemistry going, and I think that's probably the coaching staff's main job is to, to get these guys playing together as quick as possible. Back, back to the pro game for you. I mean, for 15 years it's been college. It's kind of been intriguing for you ever since extended to kind of be back at this level. Uh, you know, I talked to Coach Murphy, Pat Murphy, yeah. a little bit. You know, I know he's been up here, and and I talked to him well before I made a decision what to do, and he, he's enjoying it, and I knew I would. And, yeah, it was like 17 years ago I decided to go back and get into college ball and had an opportunity at Oklahoma State. And, I just, I've always been a professional. I enjoy managing, I enjoy coaching these, these guys and, and uh, with the dreams of big league baseball, plus the talent level is so much higher. Yeah. A little different though this, that when you're developing and you gotta kind of play guys here and there, you're not really playing to win everyone, but do you, 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 know. you take development and winning and how do you kind yeah, of we're, uh, that Yeah, winning is development. That's, that's the bottom line and we stressed it all extended spring and it's it's a grind out there for these guys you know going out there and it's 100 degrees out every day and there's nobody in the stands and and you're getting two at bats a game because there's 80 guys in camp um it's a grind for these guys and and we stressed winning we stressed putting w's on the board and we had a we had a good fall so you know i'm not going to buy into that obviously there's some guys that are going to play but hopefully they're talented enough to to help the, the m's win and you come here in training that's all right. I haven't seen rain in like 40 days, <laughs> 60 days. I don't know when the last rain we saw. You said you know some of these guys. Like, uh, how well do you know some of them? You know enough about their games? Yes. Yeah. Because we let them go. We let them play. We gave them green lights. We let them swing away. Um, for the most part, I think we're a team that's uh, offensively, we're going to turn them loose a little bit. We do have a couple guys that will play the small game and move runners around a little bit. Not that we don't stress that, but... Um, offensive club and uh, I think there's a lot of guys from last year to this year that have developed and uh, that's what it's all about. Trey Santos shared with us that his brother passed away in the offseason and I don't know if you knew anything about that but he seems to be uh, you know kind of a well-spoken thoughtful guy who uh, is, is determined to succeed I mean I don't know what you've seen from him so far but seems like he's overcome some some things he has and there's a few other guys going through the same stuff and we all do and that's what's so great about baseball it's a it's a game daily game you show up you do your best and win lose or draw you have to have another one tomorrow and you know and he's been through a lot and uh, he's struggled through a little injury there for a little while but he's turned it on the last month down there and turned it on and swinging the bat well and out on the field every day and uh, I'm telling you, it's a great group of guys. You know, they're they're fun to be around from all over the world. You know, I say the world, the country, world, and uh, bringing them all together. We're we're at pretty good chemistry right now. You expect to add kind of draftees for any of these next? I know it's only four of them on there now. You expect them to be kind of shoveling some guys in here for a while? Yeah, I, I think the plans are us to go on the road and uh, maybe that eight, nine hour bus trip back, we'll bring in some reinforcements for opening day at home. Yeah. I can get a fresh <laughs> legs out there. So I think that might be the plan. Give them some at-bats down there, get accustomed to pro ball, and then just wait until opening day here to get them back up here. You expect Turner to be here, do you know? First I, I'm assuming Turn, uh, Trey will be here. You are assuming he'll be yeah. here. Do you get, I mean, you've seen, a, you, do you like what you have in terms of some hitters and some pitchers to be able to put a team together? I do. Yeah. You know, and, and all extended spring, I'm assuming we're playing against the same guys we're going to be playing up here. We yeah. played Spokane a ton down there. They're right down the street from us, so we should be familiar with them. Um, they have some good arms, you know, and I don't know how they work their staffs. We just kind of uh, worried about our own and didn't matter who we played against. So I'm assuming we've seen those guys and we've, we've had some success against them. Do you have kind of a starting rotation in mind yet? Do you know your five? Or? Well, pitching's tricky. I mean, we're going to have probably 10 starters and piggyback a bunch yeah. of games. And Nelson Cruz, he's been here, done that. So he's got a, he's got a, uh, a leg up on that. Brazovan's going to start. 
And then after that, I'm just going to go TBA. So Brosman <laughs> will start tomorrow night and then assume the home yeah, opener. Brosman, on, yes. On his natural. Yeah, he'll have the two starts. How about hitting-wise? Do you see a guy that you like as kind of a top-of-the-order guy, a middle-of-the-order guy? He's not asking for one through nine, but just, do you see some guys that you have kind of areas yeah. that you like? I mean, I think we don't have a prototypical leadoff guy right now. Moreno's going to lead off, um, but uh, probably Trey Turner, when he comes in there, it sounds like he's an on-base, base-stealing guy. Get him up the top of the order. Plus, they're going to want him to get at bats. Um, Santos, uh, Schultz, uh, Urena. I think the only inter interchangeable parts might be uh, two and two and nine. Okay. You know, and Ruiz, Ruiz will be behind the plate. Got a bunch of middle of the order guys. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know how the ball carries up in this league, but if we we carries a little bit, we're going to do all right. Not as well here, but I think it's better in the rest of the league. So. Well, we're going to take BP today and find out. You mentioned Scholes. That's a guy who wasn't drafted, went through the California Winter League, and this is kind of his first opportunity now. What have you kind of seen from him during the last month? And seems like one of those good stories. He's a he's one of those uh, uh, Mac, not Max Effort, but uh, he, you know what you get every day. He's up there competing every pitch, and he just stepped in, gets in the box, and lets it rip. And, you know, and he uh, controlled aggressive. You know, he's, uh, he's done well, swung the bat well, showed a lot of power, plays, uh, plays the outfield well, good jumps on balls. He's done a good job.